Hello there, welcome to this uh, learning tutorial. In this learning tutorial, our learning objectives are to continue to understand how a database system is used, to learn how to set up a lookup wizard data type in Microsoft Access. As we keep doing this, I want you to ask yourself these learning questions. What is a database system used for? How can I set up a lookup data type in Microsoft Access database system? As you can see, our keywords here are lookup wizard. I'll explain what a lookup wizard means. Now, I'll use these uh, illustrations here to explain what a lookup wizard data type is. In most cases, over the last few lessons, we have used data type like text, numbers, date. But what we haven't used is uh, this lookup wizard data type. What actually it does, it helps you to create a drop-down list of options that you can use. For example, my table here on the right is keeping details about cars. When it comes to choosing the type of car, it saves me from having to write the option myself. I can pick it from the list. If I use this example here, when I want to choose the, ty the type of colors for this car, I'll choose a red. The red I haven't written it, it has been picked from the list. Same to the make. I can pick it from the list here and also this is another good example here because I've got all the class teachers I don't need to write all the class teachers initials I can pick them from the list so what a lookup wizard does it allows us to create options that the users can use when they get to start using our system this is a very good example that I've already set up when I was entering this information, when it came to the make, I just came here and I chose it from the list. When it came to the colors, I picked my colors from this list here. It's same to the type of car. So if you look, it's much professional to have a system set up with a, a drop down list, for, especially for options that will be repetitive. It's even quicker for the person who's going to be entering this information. Within a second, I've picked the, the make. Within another second, I've picked the color, so it's a, a more organized way of uh, creating a database system. It's much professional, it's quicker, and uh, there's even consistency. So this is what a lookup wizard does, and I will actually expect you to have uh, learned how to create a lookup table in Microsoft Access by the end of this uh, learning tutorial. I'm going to use this example here to quickly show you how to create a database system that uses a table with some lookup data types. In most cases, this is how they will bring your question in assessment or in today's exercise. They've said here, create a database file for a car rental agent using cars as the file name. So I'll quickly show you how to open Microsoft Access and get started. But before I begin, I've already seen here I have some lookup data types. For the make, I have a lookup. Type of the car, I have a lookup. I've got like four lookup wizards I'll be using. So I'll open up Microsoft Access. When Microsoft Access comes up, this is the first screen that most students find confusing. Always click on this blank box here. And on your right, you can see this yellow icon is saying, where do you want to keep this file? I'll keep mine in a place called Practice. The name of the system is called Cars. And I've got my practice here on the desktop. I've got here and I'll say create. Always keep things in the right place. So then create. Before you move on, please, this is another mistake. This is not where you should set up your table. You go to view, design, and it asks you what do you want to call this table. I want to call this cars table create. Now we are ready to begin. So if I go back to my question, the first field name often access fills it for me. So you can see here, ID has already been filled in for me. So I will need to go to the second option, which is make. And it actually has a lookup wizard. So the make, I will use capital letters like they've done. And it says lookup. So at the bottom here, you have lookup wizard say to access i will type in the values i want because i know what i want into this option so go back to the questions they want a honda and a ford so i have honda 
for by the way if you had more cars it's up to you for example if i was doing a big project i had toyota so it's up to you but for this case i'll just say finish now nothing literally has changed i will save my system and i show there's something taking place in microsoft access so go to datasheet view have a look if i click in this white box here where I make is look these are my options i've set up in the lookup wizard so if i now go back to my design view to continue what's the next field name the next field name is the type of the car so i will type in and the data type they want me to use is a lookup tell access i will type in the values i want so what are these values so i will go back to microsoft my question here i want a saloon estate and notchback so those are the values that i want one per box a saloon i want an estate I want a uh, ashback and say finish to test my system nothing has literally changed here as I can see it says text but something has taken place save my work go to my view have a look this is what I'm actually setting up to show you that actually it's working go back to my data sheet view what's my next field my next field name is called uh, reg reg is a uh, text so literally that won't uh, take more than a second to do reg is a uh, text i leave that got the next field name uh colors so i go back to my uh, system and uh, my colors that need to be used are red yellow blue and green so data type is lookup i will type in the values i want so my colors are red uh, green yellow of course if you are doing a big system you can type in all the colors you want but for now i'll say finish now if i try to test what i've just done yes i want to save my work this is what i've just done of course look i've not spelled my color properly so i'll go back to my design view i'll go here and type in the proper spelling so if i now save my work this is what I've just done. So please, this is how a lookup wizard is set up. So you can then start putting in the information that you have been given as it has been said here. So this is now where you can start forward, arch back, and you start putting in your information into your system. So if I'm to start doing that, and I'll type in that, I'll type in the reg maybe this is all made up and it's say a red car so this is what a lookup wizard does and this is how quickly it could be set up so i'll just emphasize what we've just done when it comes to setting up your lookup for data type we went to data type here we chose lookup wizard uh, we went to the second option i will type in the values i want because you know your values you want for these drop down boxes next and each uh, option goes in one line so uh, red uh, green just uh, has uh, your plan the options to be so finish nothing much changes but something has taken place inside Microsoft Access save your work go to data sheet view and then you'll be able to test what you've just done this is literally what you need to do for setting up a drop down box in Microsoft Access table so design view then you can continue one thing you need to realize for the questions they will like to lay it out like this lookup option allows you to remember that I will need to set up a lookup box and these are my options here when it comes to the colors lookup you know I'm setting up a lookup wizard and these are my options so please just stay, stick to this uh, approach and you'll be able to find it. it's very easy to set up a lookup wizard 
Well, before we finish off, why should you want to use a lookup with a data type when you are creating a database system? I think they are just simple reasons. It's a more professional way of uh, data entry in a database system. It's quicker, especially for those people entering the information when they involve entering some information that uh, is uh, similar. And uh, they are less likely to make mistakes because they will be just picking the information from a drop down list. That's, I think, uh, the simplest way I could say why we need a uh, lookup wizard data type set up in a table. Now, I want you to pause this video tutorial and open these uh, help notes. These help notes contain the task for today. They will guide you step by step. You need to pause this tutorial. Only come back to this video tutorial in case you've forgotten how to set up something. But it's pointless listening to the whole tutorial once again. Only use it when you need to. So please, good luck. Just follow the help notes and you'll be able to succeed in today's uh, lesson. Good luck.